Some of you watching these videos may be interested in learning a bit more about how the Surface works and how to develop applications for it. Out of the box, the Surface has some useful tools to give you insight into these questions. The Microsoft Surface detects contacts and gestures using a set of four infrared cameras. This application lets us see an inverted image of what the Surface is actually seeing when we touch it. This works very differently than the capacitive touch sensing on devices like the iPhone. For one thing, it doesn't matter if your fingers are wet. We can see that the camera can see things in pretty good detail. I will now place a byte tag on the surface. This is a special way of inputting information to the surface, which I'll show you more about in a moment. Next I'll show you how the surface interprets data from contacts. When I put my finger on, you'll notice a little box of information is displayed. This tells you what the surface knows about this contact. It can tell that this is a finger, the x and y coordinates, and roughly what direction it is pointing. When I put my fist down, the surface now detects it as a blob. The surface can handle a very large number of inputs, over 50 reliably. Now here is that byte tag again. On it is encoded a number. When we place it on the surface, the surface recognizes it as a byte tag and identifies the number it represents. It can also very accurately know its orientation. All of this information is available programmatically to developers of the surface. Finally, let's check out some of the basic built-in controls available to the developer. Many of these will be very familiar to any web developers. We have the basic button, the toggle button, a checkbox, radio buttons, a slider, a scroll viewer, text input with a built-in keyboard that appears on contact, the ink canvas I showed in some earlier videos, The developer can also easily create collections of scatter view items. And also a simple way to identify byte tags and fire events based on what number is on the tag. Despite being new technology, application development on the Microsoft Surface is remarkably similar to web development. And so anyone with some web development experience can begin developing very quickly. This has been Will Kurt at UNR's Matheson IGT Knowledge Center.